Welcome back to another episode of Bushcraft Basics. As always, any line terminology that we use in this video, if you don't know what it means, please go back to our first video in the series and watch it where that is explained. And please watch our other knot videos. So let's get into it. Today's knot is the Prusik or Prusik or however some people pronounce it knot. It's used for climbing, repelling, shelter building, and all other kinds of camp craft. It is a super useful knot. There's really two different ways to tie a Prusik, and I'm going to show both of them to you here today. The first step is to take a piece of line. Now, depending on how big of a loop you want to make, uh, that line can be anywhere from 12 to 20 inches and depending on its purpose. If the Prusik is used for climbing and you're using rope, it's probably going to be a pretty long piece. If it's used for putting up a tarp or shelter building, it might not be more than 12 inches. All right. Now there's two different ways to tie a Prusik. You take your line and you put your, your line one over the top of the other. If this is being used for shelter building, like to put up a tarp or something like that, it's not gonna be under a lot of strain, then all you need to do is take the line, take your working, go around just like that, so it's under, over, and then through itself, just an overhand knot just like that and then you repeat the process on this side you go over under and through and then when you pull these tight so you can use overhand knots to create our prusik loop that's one way to do it if it's not going to be under a lot of pressure the other way to tie a prusik loop this is what you're going to want to do if the Prusik loop is going to be under a lot of uh, strain, a lot of weight, a lot of load, like for climbing. You should take your line, one over the other, just like we did before, and we're going to tie a double fisher head, uh, fishing knot. We go around, up and over, creating our loop, back around, as you see, we got like a little figure eight going on there. So we bring this up and around, and we pass this through the X on the figure eight. It's a little bit difficult with small amounts of line like this, but as you can see, we got the knot formed there. Go ahead and dress that up. Then we do the same thing on this side, under, over, under, and around. There we have our figure eight. And we work this end through the X. It can be really challenging with a small amount of line. So there we got our double fisherman's knot. And we pull that and pull that tight. And there's our Prusik loop. Then to use our Prusik loop, we have like kind of a little mini ridge line here that I improvised real quick. This could also be a standing line, i.e. Uh, vertical. If you were climbing or doing something like that, here we have our Prusik loop. And basically, we just go around, feed the knot through just like that, two, three times okay and we just go ahead and we dress this up get this good and tight now this is a pretty small prusik loop but it gives you an idea now the cool thing about a prusik loop is I'm pulling this way and I can't move it I'm pulling this way and I can't move it. It bites down on that cord. But if I grab it here, I can slide it anywhere along there. But as soon as you put this lateral stress on it, it locks up. And that is how you do a Prusik loop. 
really simple, really straightforward. So thank you for watching. I appreciate the views. I appreciate those thumbs up. And uh, I will see you later on Out in the Woods, hopefully tying some knots.